Okay, so this is another base, then we did it. Hello back everyone. It's a really toxic place with a lot of radiation. It's really a small base. I think I probably start with all the small the small one. So this is just a little cabin. Piloti radioactif. <laughs> Sorry, I love uh, alone. <laughs> That's okay. My PC is alright with it. Wow, this is really, really orange. So, not the most interesting base, I agree. You will see, like, if you stay and continue to watch the vids, there's some bays really more interesting than that. So, is there a space station in that system? Yes. Great. So, let's go to the next base to delete. Uh, I should find something to tell you why we wait to see the days. So, I'll tell you uh, like uh, about an idea that uh, I think it would be great have inside No Man's Sky, it would be consistent to what they made before about uh, the procedural, uh, the procedural technology, the procedural universe, procedural u everything actually. Uh, I know a lot of players don't like the slow of the game, me too, but I, uh, there is also kind of uh, not a lot of change once you're trapped the game and really stuff and everything and the combat the combat with life forms isn't really enjoyable or interesting uh, especially animals for the little monsters they added it it's okay but uh, animals are really not a danger and I often feel bad if I kill one because of a mission or by mistake Let's go to Lower Base. I thought I was already, I guess, already been there. Oh, too much base. You know what? Let's go to Dial City Glue. Lower Base, I think it's again a small one with nothing fun. And uh, so, yeah, um, I think this should work. Huh. It would be amazing if they could uh, work on something like that, meaning uh, like some kind of dungeon planet, plan planets that are uh, really harder uh, to survive in it uh, with uh, life form uh, really aggressive and uh, just adding some kind of uh, procedural type of attacks and weakness on a lot of animals like um, they should create some of those, like they created uh, all the the shape of legs uh, from the monster. Okay, I will continue that later. Let me, let me show you this base. So this is my Dioxity glue. Uh, it's a base for uh, for actually uh, when I look for dioxid, dioxid uh, to do uh, plant to grow glass. So this is a little glue small but uh, I like it and I like its place because it's really high again oh, there is everything you need you can play the switch no. it's, it's not true. Uh, but yeah it's really high not in space so but uh, on the mountain again let's delete you 
Where is the computer? New York City glue. Bye bye. Too much emotion. Okay, so my ship is in is in here. Love is in here. Not my ship. Okay, so uh, what I was trying to say, yes, you know, they when they walked uh, on the animals, they created uh, several sh shapes of uh, legs, arms, and uh, heads, and everything, and they assemble all of that. Assemble also uh, how they behave, and they could create also several type of animations and type of attacks and ty type of weaknesses like some point is, uh, where you can shoot them and it's easier to kill them and it's changed sometimes oh shit yeah I won't travel in that space station is there a portal in those space station? or oh, it's just all broken I don't remember how to I will check so yes, uh, that's an idea. I think they, they could generate a lot of those and uh, attack and witnesses and uh, ah, right. and uh, procedurally uh, give that to the, some of the animals and it will change the difficulty. It would be interesting to hunt, to uh, to hide. To actually, it will make the planets more interesting. I think sometimes more hard. Yeah, sometimes harder. But honestly, the game is pretty easy, so it will be great to have that. They already tried to uh, to have that kind of uh, attack and weaknesses. And the the sentinels, big robots, uh, the sentinel workers, uh, since next, because before it wasn't like that. Oh, I love this planet. I remember. I remember at the beginning of next when I uh, landed on that, and it was one of the weirdest places I ever found. even sure I don't want to keep it because it's still beautiful okay. the base is really shitty base no uh, this is uh, everything but no man's sky I'll find another planet like that one day so I did it This is kind of therapeutic, you know. You let go everything. So learn about Zen with your master. Let's do a tour of this planet. So it was when I was there. It was the beginning of next, and uh, so there was a lot of new technologies and everything. So even if I was full stuffed before next, when I arrived there, uh, it was kind of hard to survive. The, tom the storm were really, uh, really uh, amazing, and uh, I couldn't stay like more than 30 seconds outside. And I kind of miss that now that I, I have every technology. I could just delete the technology, I guess, but it would be great if we had some planets that stay difficult even if you're really, really full stuffed. And that uh, you can't uh, buy your way out of those. Okay, so this is 
again a system with no space station and only one planet. So, actually, what is this kind of planet? One minute peace. Oh, you see, I named it this way because I only had one minute of peace each time between storms. Scarlet planet. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's go to another system to teleport and send to another base to erase. So you know what would be your uh, best ideas for continuing to upgrade this game? I don't know if they will continue to upgrade it a lot. They say yes. Say so, but... Uh, Honestly, it's already three years in the game. We had a lot of updates. Uh, I guess Beyond will be big, but I don't know about the content yet. Already VR and multiplayer is big, but uh, so part we don't know about. So we'll see. Uh, so just the next system. You up. I guess, honestly, uh, I'm saying that, but uh, I don't think it, it's in their plan soon. Soon, but uh, I'll be ready for No Man's Sky 2 that uh, I pay again full price. That uh, would change a lot of things in the game. Like really, uh, really No Man's Sky 2. Like uh, even more different than before, uh, next and after next. I think if they really want to do something really uh, close to their uh, expectation, they will need to rework a lot of things from the beginning now. So I hope they will do an Wednesday too one day. I hope also they will have uh, the funds to do it and we have a, a bigger team but uh, I hope they will keep the, still a, that uh, close team in defeating because uh, I think that makes the game really different than what we usually see uh, in this industry. You know, it's all procedural but it's a game with a lot of soul, really a lot. So. Uh, I don't want it start to be to uh, how to say that general too generic. Hi. So what is the next base to erase? Oh come on. Oh no. <laughs> you see if I go there the game will crash because it's in another galaxy. So I thought. Uh, Yo, babe. Yes. Tranquille, you know. Cueillette de champignons. Okay, this one is great. Actually, no, the base is still small. It's always a small base for now. But the base is great. Was great. It was a really weird planet with big mushrooms. Black and white. Uh, Black, white and orange, I think. Okay. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. I hope uh, my French accent isn't too bad for you. Okay, so... There's a big rock inside my portal. <laughs> okay, so this is an observation post. And nobody's there. I don't know what I'm paying them for. They, isn't, they aren't even in the, the, at their desk, so... 
<sighs> I will have to I will have to fire you. No, don't do that. Or at least give him the salary before and uh, two weeks to find another post of mechanician or scientist somewhere. So I think there was something else in here. Ah no, it's just a door. Okay, so the weather is bad again. And it's really hot again. Okay. Uh, where is my uh, computer? There. So this is my little avant-post. I want to show you what the planet looks like when it's not uh, night. Wow, so... Uh. Okay, so if no, it's not black and white uh, uh, anymore, it's just full orange. Not that much blue. Oh, okay. It wasn't moving anyway. It's really big mushroom like that. Okay, let's time. It's time now to delete you. Bye bye, little uh, little base. Cayette de champignons. It means a place where you can pick mushroom. Mushroom to take off. Hey, Ouch. Ah, next station. Okay, what was this planet? Uh, you, you see this name, Ken Coink? It's uh, Ken uh, from uh, our uh, Convergence Facebook group. He named some planet my system. How old? No, it's okay, <laughs> I don't care. So you have your little dedicated scan if you watch the video. That kind of a guest, even if you're not here. So I like doing a video like that. I don't know if a lot of you will watch it. It's okay. Uh, I don't do that more often because because when I play, usually uh, I have a wife, I have a, uh, a child, so they're either sleeping or next to me, or so I can't really do video like that uh, often. But today it's kind of calm, and that's the best time for doing it now. What my friend is saying, Russian fishing for. I have some friends that are playing pretty games that I wouldn't ever play. So, this is Jurassic Park, uh, I think. Jurassic Park, yes. So, this is uh, just a little avant post, uh, a little, a really small base with nothing interesting in the base, but the planet is amazing because there is all these big dinos everywhere. So actually I think I have to keep this base because I don't find that much dinos in the game. It was actually one of the first time. And uh, they're all always there. I really love them. Hello. 
So I should do a, a real base here. Actually, I should build something real, really good here to enjoy these dinners. So I'll keep this base to have access to the planet. And you know what? I think I have another base in that system. That is a great base. But uh, I will delete it anyway because I'm crazy. No, because uh, you need to let go. Why I'm taking that, I don't know. I don't know at all. Uh, okay, so I have to learn how to park my ship. Uh, I keep the base, uh, I was saying. So let's go. In all my planets, currently, there is a storm, very really hot. Uh, okay, let's go. So I think in the same system, I've built another base. I don't know if it's Toki Lepidolo or if it's Cloud9. If it's Cloud9, it's a really great base. If it's Toki Lepidolo, it's uh, a nice planet, but um, not a big base. What is it? Is it there? Yes, it's there. Okay, your base. Okay, so it's on Cloud 9, I think. Uh, it, it will be Cloud 9, I think. Oh, okay, so there is... I have a, a little point next to my... Uh, let's see, what is it? Oh, yeah. I know now. So you can land here. Yes, we will land here. Because we will erase it. <gasps> the base after. Okay. Ah. Okay. Oof. Right. One and twenty degrees. I just hate. Seriously. Damn rotation. So I suppose all of you know that, that when you are close on a wall, it won't deplete your uh, jetpack. So this is a really high base, like we are literally in space. Before the planet wasn't orange at all, it was blue, like uh, a weird blue between uh, pink and blue. I like to have my ship in my uh, my field of view. Pop, 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 Boop. You can see another planet there. Uh, we're really high in the sky. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. This is nice. I will love this base. I will love this base and I will to let you go. Woo! So this is falling. Oh, we'll take a little break here. Because actually before I uh, was building the base at this height and I noticed that I could go higher. So this is uh, my little spaceport. It was already high, but nothing to compare with uh, the real top of it. So we'll go around. way to say goodbye visiting everything again so if you come you can sleep here but you can't come because there will be no base soon is there anything in that building let's see probably huh. well not a lot of things but 
Anyway. The music is really kind. Ah, uh, and what is it? <gasps> it's my Colossus. A great place to put a Colossus. I can't move. Come on. You can't move? Ah, usually I... Can you see? Okay. So before I was able to fall in my Colossus. Let's do it again. No, okay. Okay, so it's really a bad place to put the Colossus. <laughs> anyway, so I was taking the Colossus and uh, going this way and there and ah, falling with the Colossus and it was fun. Good time. So this is this isn't stressful at all to fall like that. As you can see, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> and ouch, my ankles. Okay, so now I'm saying goodbye to this planet. And I'm thinking about something. Uh, no, it will be okay. Clone 9. Bye bye, Clone 9. I hope you like this day. I really like it. It's not really easy in normal to uh, do base uh, at this height. I know a lot of people do it, and in much better way too. But I still think it's not an easy thing to do in normal mode. So no, uh, but before there was a lot of trees everywhere. Where are all the trees? Seriously, there is no trees anymore. Okay, so we are not here for that. So we'll take my sh ah. You're there. Did they just pop or was I just not looking? No, seriously, they just pop now. Okay. Uh, my ship. So before uh, one of the update uh, during that, it was a uh, uh, this planet was between pink and blue, and now it's like all of these uh, weird planets have, instead of having diversity in the skies, they are all orange now. So I don't know if it's my fault because uh, Birdlanger is maybe not working like it should but uh, that's weird I would love to have a uh, more choice of sky colors like they say they will do for visions but it's actually not the real case for me it's always the same orange sky for the weird planets So I still think they can improve diversity, but I still love what they did, but uh, you know, like all these uh, plan new planets they added with uh, the really weird planets with uh, bones or uh, some kind of TV buildings, uh, or these plants that looks like uh, old, uh, old uh, old civilization uh, ruins and on all of those new planets from visions there is really almost nothing to do there is only one life form that will be uh, a weird animal but uh, always the same on each planet each type of planet have its 
one life form and there is nothing uh, no NPCs, no anything on this is weird planet that's okay sometimes but why on all of those? I don't know the Oyo Cave, Oyo Cave is a big base so let's see you, uh, I will cut this video here and we will start with Oyo Cave next time <laughs>